Good morning, Raboisai. Lili Nishmasi Mimirosi Rusmas Mordechai. Sponsored by Michael Mann from Toronto on the occasion of the 18th yard set of his mother, Beverly Mann. Bela Blimo, Bas Chaim Yisrael, Yaakov Oleas, Shalom, and Shalom Shadav, and Aliyo. And by Jordan Bratsky, in honor of Stuart Hanekman of Woodmere, New York, for the completion of Shas. Unbelievable. Before I get to this most amazing, amazing email, I want to tell you uh, a little bit about Karsa Toiv. And I'm going to throw myself under the bus. You're going to cringe a little bit. But this is it. Maybe there's a lesson to be learned. Maybe not. But because I'm going to put the blame on the DAF, my father lives 30 minutes away from me. My daughter, I bought her an apartment in Yerushalayim. I've never been to her apartment. Why? Because of the DAF. My father, who lives 30 minutes away from me, I haven't been to him in 14 months. I haven't seen him in 14 months. It's not a good thing. I'm not saying this as a thing. Every time I say I got to go there, but I don't have the two hours. I just don't have the two hours. Erev Shabbos, I had yard site, and I so wanted to go to my mother's caver, and I didn't go. I didn't go. I kept on pushing it off. I said I'll go at 12 o'clock, at 1 o'clock, and it, was just, it just started getting late. But on Friday, somebody came to my house. And my son told him I'm not available. And I think I wasn't available at the time. And he brought me this. You're not going to believe this. This is my favorite wine, but not Stam. Castel, 2004. I drink 2016, 17. 2005, 2006, 2007. I don't know. I think these are about five, 600 shekel a bottle, $150 probably. This is like $600. And the guy came from, I don't know where, and I don't even know who this person is. Simon Jacobs. So I want to make a deal with Simon. If he's still in Eretz Yisrael, I will get in my car today and drive to Yerushalayim. I'll visit my father and my mother and Simon Jacobs, wherever he is. My daughter is not in Eretz I will not see her apartment. No. that will have to go for another place. But I cannot believe it. It's unbelievable. All right. These are short of him. I'm just, I'm, I'm relaxed. I'm relaxed. It's Yuma. Right, boys, I don't want to say this guy's name because it's a beautiful, beautiful email. So listen to this. It's one of my favorite. Thank you for sending the Gemara. It arrived quickly and it's in superb condition. But the whole strategy, strategy defeats the purpose. The point was to induce me to partake in your Dafyo Mishir. But with such a good Gemara that explains everything so well, listening to Yishir serves no purpose. I get all the info I need from the parish on the Gemara. So you see what you have done? You have made yourself unnecessary. Is that what you intended? I doubt it. Seemingly, you don't properly think the whole thing through. Now, I didn't think it at all. It wasn't me. It was other people. But let's talk about this for a second. Let's say that the shear, I just read it right out of the art scroll. And I say over the art scroll, Pirushim, because that's what he got. Well, that takes a good few hours. If anybody ever read all the notes in the art scroll, that could take, on a typical day, if there's like three, four pages per um, but now in humans, a little less, it could take two hours minimum just to read it. So I'm saving you the two hours. Now, yesterday, for instance, you came to the shir. I sat over a Misa where the guy right in front of me died. And they put his body in a bag. And the lady next to me didn't realize she thought it's garbage. So she stepped on the body. Oh, that's not in the art scroll. <laughs> you are. You have made yourself unnecessary. What about my green and purple charts? Is that... Uh, I don't understand. Unbelievable. Maybe he didn't do his side of the deal, which was to watch a shear or two. Oh, parenthetically, I was disappointed that the Gemara you sent only covers the first half of the Masechta. I don't need you, but please send me a second one. No, I, I'm just adding it. Your wording had led me to believe that it was going to be the whole Masechta Siuma. Somehow I feel I was shortchanged. Would you like to make good the deficiency again he's coming to me like i had something to do with this whatever i add that i have now listened in in a couple of the shoe room he has and come away with the impression that while they definitely have merit and cater to the interests of countless multitudes they don't quite fit the bill for me personally i'm a good art school reader and i don't need you enjoy giving the sheer stay well and be truly matzliach wow <laughs> 
There's a name. I'm not going to say his name. I don't, you know, people are going to give him hate mail. No, no, no. That's, a, that's unbelievable, no? No, no. I have to write myself one occasionally because, yeah. It's like the thumbs down on, on YouTube. I give myself a thumbs down occasionally so that the people, you know, there's some balance. Rabbi Nachi Brickman, he's the dean, Derek Institute of Torah Study. I've watched his here for a few days. What? Yeah, here we go, here we go, balance. No, this is from a rabbi. You know what? Forget this one. He's a... You know him? Should I read it? I watched his here for a few days and just wanted to say thank you for the chizik and the shir. I have a chavrus in the morning for the da, but I decided Yuma, I would go through the da for a second time during the day. It was extremely enjoyable and gratifying. I just wanted to say thank you. Koltov, may Akash Baruch give you the strength and abilities to continue the Bible's story on an unprecedented level. Be well, Nachi. On a side note, I believe the Aaron Kodesh. Oh, okay, fine. Nice. No, no. How are This one is, a, is also a funny one. Jonathan Itzkowitz. Yochanan Itzkowitz. They're rebelling the entire MDY Mishpacha. I wrote an email to you in the beginning of Sochem about kashring and fiasco in Yeshiva Chaim Berlin. In that email, I explained how I was behind the daf but catching up via YouTube. You gave me a little bit of techacha, how that was wrong. And that I should always skip ahead to the current daf and catch up later. I would like to thank you for that advice as I skipped ahead and managed to keep up daily Baruch Hashem. While driving down to Orlando for Pesach to join the rest of the American Jews, I decided to binge watch the Rebelli show. And I'm happy to say that by the time I arrived in Orlando, I had caught up all the missing daf and Vesachim. Unfortunately, my son, who was riding with me, has been turned off completely by this experience and may never do the daf again. <laughs> it's like they say, you can't make an omelet without breaking a couple of shells. But seriously... <laughs> After the drive, he told me how he's impressed with the dedication. He would like to start Daf Yoimi himself as well if he can fit it into the measure schedule. I decided to say anyone who feels that they can fall behind and catch up later, trust me, it don't work. Maybe he meant to say it does work. I don't know. Maybe it's part of his lips on us. I believe that the Sahara uses this, that as his number one tool and, and the key to keep up with the cloud. Uh, his number one tool. And the key, the key is to keep up with the cloud. As they say, there's strength in numbers. Listen to this line, he says. Keep up first, catch up later. That should be the new motto. Great. Keep up first, catch up later. Best regards, thank you again, your team for your, the team, for an amazing job, and obviously many, many hours that you all put into this. May Hashem bench you and your families many times over. Amen. Below is a picture of me learning the daf on the way to Florida with my phone on the dash and my eyes on the road. Here you go. Here's the picture. Yishmak, a boy said, here we go. Wow, it's not, it's not so. Woo, okay. So now I am going. Hayoim, echot basim yoim, sheheim, shleisha shvois ba'oimer. And now let's do a useless shear. Superfluous shear. If you want, you could click off right now and watch your read the art scroll. Or if you want to do it in 35 minutes, one half speed, let's go for the ride. Art scroll doesn't have those emails either. It's all. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Very good. We will do that. All right. So yesterday we were talking about Tuma Tchuya Betzibur and Tuma Hutra Betzibur, Art Scroll Note 72. I'm not going to explain. Okay, fine. Tuma Hutra Betzibur. If HaKadosh Baruch Hu says that if somebody, if Klai Yisrael's Tame, the Kain is Tame, the animal is Tame, the Klisharis is Tame, whatever is Tame, you're permitted to go ahead and bring the carbon, it's Mutter, Rav Nachman holds, it's Hutter, it's, it's as if there's no tum at all. Sheish on the other hand holds the chuya. You can do the carbon, but it's bidiyeved. It's not the chila. It's pushed off. It's like, okay, you don't have a choice. You, don't, you can't find another kayan around. Fine, do it. So now we're holding it up to Zayin Omid Aleph. Omar Rav Sheishas. Last word on the first line. Omar Rav Sheishas. Mira amin Allah. How do I know my shita, the tuma? That it's not as if it doesn't exist. It's there, just will let you get away with it. And he said yesterday, a muscle, not mamish, but a muscle like on Shabbos, there's a pikuach nefesh. Do we say that no Shabbos exists at all and you could do whatever you want and turn on the volume, turn off the volume, turn on the air conditioner, or there's a, 
You're allowed to go to the hospital. We are actually passing Tchuya. And they wanted to bring a ride from this, from this Gemara right here. How do I know this? Okay, so since we have time, let's go through the Minchas Oimer again. Minchas Oimer just happened just recently on the second day of Pesach. And that is all the wheat that grows during the year, all the way up to Pesach, you're not permitted to eat from that wheat until we bring a Mincha Sa'imer. And according to most Rishonim and Achroinim, that applies even in and even in Chutz Laaretz. Besides Das Yachid, the Bach. And that is what's known as Yashan, or Makbidan Yashan. Why is it called Oimer? We bring it on the second day of Pesach. And that is when we start Sfira Sa'imer. No connection really to Shavuos. That's the same day that we start Tzvius HaOimer. That's the day that we bring the Oimer. So, the Kayan is standing there and he's Makriv Minchas HaOimer. He's bringing this barley. And it's also, by the way, also to cut, to reap any barley, any wheat until we bring the Oimer. You can't just go and start cutting from your own field and say, in the base of they're going to bring the Oimer tomorrow. No, you have to wait patiently. When they bring it in the base Hamidish, then you go ahead and you start reaping your own, you take your tractor out. From the Oimer is made out of barley, not wheat. What happens when the Kayan realizes that it became Tomei? Somebody says, by the way, you touched a sheret or a dead person, and the Oimer that you're holding in your hands is Tomei. What do you do? Now we learned Allah of Tuma Hutra Betibur. This is a carbon for the Tibur. So the halacha is, Oimer umevin acher He lets everybody know, hey, I am Tomei, let's try to replace it. What does that tell us right now? If you're trying to replace this carbon, that means it's not hutter. If it is a hutter, that means there's no Toma today. Toma is out the window, use what you have. Who cares if you can bring a better one? There is no better one. There's no Toma today. From the fact that he says, go ahead and let's try to get another one, that means it's tchuya. It's beles breira. It's a tchak. I want to get a better one. The main shom elohi, and if there is no other barley, that's it. Oimim loy havei pikeach ushtoik. Don't say anything. Don't tell people about it. They might come to confuse this with the carb- with the other things. Don't say anything. By the way, this should be a motto also. Havei pikeach ushtoik. You come home and you could say something silly. Or somebody else in your house says something that you don't like. Just zip it. I love that email. No, Adi What are you telling them not to send? They should send. It's gewaldic. It says, Mefurish, you should go ahead and look for another Oymer. Now yesterday, if you remember, we had a machloik. There's a shayla in Rav Nachman himself. But there was a tzad that there's another kayan. Go get another kayan. You're Tomei. Step aside in that base av, in your same family. Go ahead and get another kayan. But over here, and, and we said that if it's another base av, it's another family, you have to leave the base av, I mean, just go to somebody's house and knock on his door and say, kayan, please come and eat a tar. That, Rim Nachman says no. Over here, it's like going to find another kayan. Going outside of the base of I mean, just getting more barley. It's very troublesome. Yet, the halach is, you should look for another tahar oimer. Omer Rav Nachman, Moidina, Heicha, De'ika, Shirayim, Lachila. We're talking about the carbon oimer. How does it work? You take a bunch of this flour, and the kain goes like this. He sticks his hand into the bowl, takes one scoop full, this amount, and they put it on the mezbeach. But the rest, you get to eat. Tuma Hudrubis Tzibur only works for this part, the part that goes on the mezbeach. The carbon part. But the part that's edible, you don't say, oh, because Tuma Hutra, so you're allowed to eat it. You don't eat it. You just put this part on the Mizbech and the rest goes into the garbage. But because we want them to eat it, to be able to eat it, so that's why Ibn Nachman said, go ahead and look for barley that's tahar. So, this sugya, we have the sheet of Rav Nachman. Rav Nachman says, Tuma Hutra It doesn't exist once if somebody's tummy, whatever is tummy, so the, the, the concept of the tumah doesn't exist. And they say there's three exceptions to the rule. Exception that we just learned is shirayim. 
When there's something edible, then we are makbir on tumah. We go away, we'll try to find something. Now, carbon tzibur, tumah hutra b'tzibur. Tzibur means the tzibur when it's on a specific day of the year. But if there's a carbon tzibur, let's say for Avedi Zara, as the Gemara is going to say, it's not a specific day. They did Avedi Zara by mistake, the whole community. So for that, you don't have tumah hutra b'tzibur. Rav Nachman will say, then it's considered dechuya. You have it, but it's dechuya. But Shiraim also, you have it, but it's dachuy, it's pushed off. And finally, when a yachid brings a carbon, even if it's kavua, then we don't say hutra. So let's see inside. Meisvei. A person was bringing the mincha, not the par, ayel, and keves. The mincha that goes together with the par, ayel, and keves. These are karbanas, a bull, a ram, a sheep. But together with that, you have to bring a mincha. And we're talking about oilais. These are all oilais. So what happens to the mincha of a oilah? Just like the oil itself. The oil, nobody eats anything of it. The whole carbon goes in the mizbeach and finished. So the mincha that goes together with it, the flour that goes together with it, nobody gets to eat it. So now we're not going to have the answer that Rav Nachman had said before, that by shirayim I agree that there's no hutra. It's tukhuya. Over here we're not talking about shirayim. Over here we're talking about a mincha, that the whole entire mincha goes in the mizbeach. Same, same thing as the oimer that we said before. It became tamay. All of a sudden he realizes it's Tommy. Same halacha. Oimer, mevim acheres tachtel. He tells other people and they go ahead and they bring a Oimer. Vim ain't sham elohi. And if there's no other Oimer, there's no other mincha. Oimer mloi, have a pikeach ushtoik. Have a pikeach ushtoik. Eli, have a pikeach ushtoik. Ay, ay, ay. Not that wise. Cause a lot of cringing. Yes, masking. My love, parim elim ukfasim de chag. We're talking about sukkahs or pesach. Chag means sukkahs, but it means it's an example. We're talking about these animals that we bring on Yontif, which are a carbon seabor. And it says by carbon seabor, if you can find a better one, go ahead, find a better one, something that's not Tommy. That is not like Rav Nachman. Rav Nachman says, don't look for anything. You have no issue. Your Tommy, go ahead, be makriv. Your friend is standing right next to you, star. I don't care. You do it. You have a mincha that's Tommy. Why do I care? There is no tuma today. Tuma hudra but is a complete heter. Omalok Rav Nachman, right? Similar to those at Salah guys, that for no reason in Shul, they turn on the radio, turn off the radio, and they, they, they say, no, Ramosha gave them a heter. It's completely mutter. I can't even think about Shabbos, they say. That's, I'm not saying that's... Whatever, that's what they say. That's not what we're talking about. Parim par We're t- no, 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 I'm not starting with that. Salah. I'm not. They have their hetter. I'm, I'm not getting into that. But I'm saying they treat it like hutter. They don't treat it like truya. They, they, I didn't go into the halacha. They say Reb Moshe Feinstein said, if they would think about it for a millisecond, then it, it would cause them not to go on calls. Right, Levi? It's a takshit. You should be proud of it. So you turn it on, turn it off, the whole zakh. Oh, here we go. Controversy. I didn't, I, that's why I didn't want to get into it. <laughs> Listen, okay. Have a bikeya chushtoik. Okay, I ain't an art school, Sham. Note 22. Parim par zara. This is the par of avoidah zara. So, what does that mean? Sanhedrin, Sanhedrin tells Klai, so go ahead. It's muted today to do Avedizara. They made a big mistake, a big boo-boo. So Klai has to bring a bull. What day did they bring it? Any day that it happened. It could happen in Asar uh, of it could happen on Yud Shvat. It, it, there's no day for it. Whatever that mistake happened, they bring, so it's not Kavua. So Afagav the Tziburhu, here comes the second exception to the rule. Even though, this is a part that the entire Klai Yisrael brings because they all did Avi Zaro. The Roiv did Avi Zaro. Kivinoi is man. Mahadrinon. It's not a Kavua. It, there's no specific time of the year that you're supposed to bring this par. It's not like the par of Sukkot that we know it's going to come on this and this date, the, the, on Pesach this date. It's, a, it's just a mistake that happened. So Memeila, there's no Hutra Betzibur, says Rav Nachman. Rav Nachman says, my idea that Tuma Hutra Betzibur doesn't apply in the red when it's not Kavua. 
Elim. So what does it mean, Elim? Be'eloi shel Aaron. The the ayol, the ram that Aaron Akoyim brings on Yom Kippur. The Avagav the Kvila Isman. That is Kavua. Kivin the Yochadu Madrinon. So, like we said yesterday, there is an aspect of Tzibor. He is representing the Tzibor in Rashi over here in the Goyres, that it's for the Tzibor that has, can, fine. But at the end of the day, he's a Yachid. It's a, it's a, it's a Isle of Aaron. It comes, we know exactly when it comes. Yud Tishrei. Kivin the Yochadu Madrinon. We must search for Tahara. Kvasim, what does it mean? Keves, but keves haba ima oimer. That is the the carbon that comes together with the oimer. And like we answered before, the ikka shirayim la achila. At the end of the day, there's something to eat here. And memela, that's exception number one. That when there's something to eat, we have to look for tar. Meisve, dam shenitu uzrakoi. Blood. So now. I'm just doing this for some of the new guys that are not very familiar with the kachim. If the last final step, there's four steps. Kachim shechs the animal, then they receive the blood in this vessel, then he walks from where they shechted it to the, to the mizbeach, that's hilacha, and then he sprinkles it on the mizbeach. So if the blood became tamay, uzrakai, and then he sprinkled it, as we said yesterday, the dam is what's meratza. The dam is what gives kapara. Bishoigeg hurza, if he didn't know what he's doing, then it gives you you fulfilled what you were supposed to do. So it's a good carbon, it gives you a ritu, a kapara. Bemezid loy hurza. Okay, it doesn't necessarily mean that there's no ritu at all, at all. Rashi says it's a knas. It's very important. That means Chacham said you don't have a ritu. However, you cannot bring another carbon because you bring another carbon. What is that called? Chulim ba'azara. It's not a real carbon because your carbon that you brought actually does have ritzui. It did work. Okay. So, keeping the yachdu madrin and kvadu dikin shirel may say dam shenit mozrakoi b'shogig hurtza b'meizid loy hurtza. However, if we say that there's no tuma. Hutra betibur, like Rav Nachman said. So what do I care? Mazed, not mazed. Hutra betibur, finished. There's no, there's no tumah today. You can do it on purpose. There's no tumah. Kitanya hi the We're talking about in the case of an individual. You're right. If it's a tibur's carbon, there's no difference of mazed and not mazed. There's no tumah when it comes to tibur. We're talking about an individual carbon, and then there is an afkimina, whether you did it on purpose or you did it by mistake. Toshma. Alma hatzitz miratza. Okay, so now we're going into the sugya of tzitz. Now, if we look over here, real quickly, if you look closely, the kain gadol is in his shmoyne begadim. This is the shmoyne begadim. Right over here, there's a gold plate on his forehead, and it looks something like this. Now, it doesn't have. There's a big machloikis exactly how it looks, just as for visual aid. This is what it is. It's a gold plate, and it says Kodesh Lashem, exactly where the Shem is, up, down, even below. Fine. This is the tzitz. This has amazing properties. This gives kapara to when people, when the Koyhanim, when, when the carbon is brought, bitumah. So I want to show you something here, just so there's a little bit more understanding. Here. Until now, we're talking about Tuma Hutra B'tzibur. Now, when we're talking about a, a tzibur, there's a heter. There's no tumah. That applies to very specific things. Carbon, like we just learned, that was brought with tzibur. If you have a communal carbon, like the Klai Yisrael's tame for the carbon Pesach, then hutra. You don't have to wait to Pesach shading, you can bring it today. Or, small words over here. I don't know if uh, Gershon, you could zoom in a little bit. It's for carbon. If the carbon itself became tame. Not the individual bringing the carbon. The, car- the carbon itself, the meat became tame, touched the sherets. If the kayan performing the avoid became tame, no. Hold on, did I, f- did I flip it? Yeah, I think I flipped it. Yaakov Shom Aleichem. You're right, you didn't hear that I flipped it. Yeah, look it up, Menachem. I think I flipped it. 
the carbon, koyen, kli, and bailam should be over here, and this is carbon, I think. Now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, look it up. One thing I know for sure, tuma hutra is only, as we said yesterday, tumas meis. Right? Not, look it up. Start looking it up over there. Is this? Art scroll, look in the art scroll. This is worse than that. You see, the shear is much worse. The art scroll doesn't make mistakes. Carbon, koyen, kli, bailam. And the other one is carbon. Tzitz, uh, miratza. Hold on a second. Carbon. Kli. No, no, no. I think this is good. Okay. Tuma hutra, carbon, koyen, kli, bailam. And we said yesterday, because we're talking about the, the sugi of nida, that if a person has a boil nida, you don't have hutra b'tzibur. Hutra b'tzibur only works for tumas meis. If a person became tummy through a dead person, the body, a corpse, then hutra b'tzibur. But if a person was boil nida, he doesn't have hutra b'tzibur. Sheretz, machalik is rash in the Rambam. Okay. However, now we're discussing the tzitz. This, the tzitz. What does it come to do? It comes to be Miratza even for an individual, which the Tumah Tripitzibar does not. It comes to be Miratza a carbon. And all Tumahs, meaning, Bayonida, Sharet, all Tumahs, Zav, Zava, all these things. You're like this. Everything. Sits, has Kapara. I met somebody that, that was doing the daf like a month ago, two ago. He says, he understands everything. He just cannot wrap his head around the idea of Tzitz Miratza. Kayin Gadol wears something like this on his head and gives, forget, he couldn't, he couldn't, that one he couldn't figure out. Okay, fine, each to their own. That, yeah, he understands everything. Kola Kula, besides Tzitz Maratza. Maybe there's a, maybe there's an article about it or something. Maybe then, even that'll. Let's read that email again, just for, no. I really like that one. Alma Tzitz Maratza, here we go. So we are, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve lines from the bottom. Tashma. The tzitzim ratzah on anything, part of the carbon that became tame, whether it's the blood, the meat, the fat, everything. Not chalav, okay, not milk, chalav. Bein b'shoigig, bein b'meizid. Bein b'oynes, bein b'ratzoyn. This is an actual word here, really. Shoigig, bein b'meizid, whether you do it deliberately, or unintentionally, bein be'oynes. Oynes means kind of forced. Bein be'ratzayin is really amazing. Okay, fine. But it's riyat of the lishna. It just flows. I'm saying that on purpose because the Rosh Hashiva, the Psim Chassasman, asked me this morning at five in the morning a, a shaila here, and I think that might be the answer to this question. Bein be'yachid, bein betzibur. Whether it's an individual or betzibur. V'yisokadai v'chutum ha'heteri betzibur. But if you already have the idea, the concept of Tuma Hutra Betzibur right over here, why do I need this? Why do I need a tzitz for? I don't need the tzitz to come and help out and make your carbon a good carbon. There is no Tuma today. It's Hutra Betzibur. So let's see Rashi for a second. Rashi didn't ask you, Bain Betzibur. You have it? From the fact that the Torah says you need the coin to wear this tzitz on his head, and only then you get a kapara. So you see that when this tuma, it's not a complete heter, it's a dchak. And because you have a dchak, you have to wear a tzitz. So Rashi asks, why do you need tuma hutra when it comes? The tzitz doesn't work for Tumas Haguf. Fine. Zok the Gemara. The whole idea that the tzitz brings a kapara is on the individual carbon. Reb Simcha asked, but it says, I don't know what the answer is exactly, but maybe because we're talking about Riyat al Why does it say, And then again, It's the, repeating the same word. Mezid and Rotten are the same. Elamai, it just flows. So, Yeah? No. What? Which one? 
I don't have that. Tell me what it says. Okay. I get it. But it says that it sits miratze on, the, on this and this and that. Okay. I get it, but it's okay, fine. That's not what it says. The, the simple Russian says that. That's what he's asking. Okay, fine. Go, go argue with him. Zogti Gemara. V'yibay seyma afilu teyma b'tzibur. V'hanach d'loi k'vilu z'man. Or you could say that yes, now this fits in much better than Lashem. Be'im b'yachad be'im b'tzibur, that the tzitz works. For what? For a case, like the Avedizara case, that the karba doesn't have a specific time of the year, and for that, tumma loy hudra b'tzibur, and for that you need a tzitz mirat. Meisvei, v'nos ha'aren is avena kadoshim. So it says in the Pasuk, let's see if we have it here, yeah. Here is the Pasuk. V'hoya meitzach aroin, this tzitz is on his forehead. This is my chalik, trying to exactly if it's right here on his forehead, or right above where we were tzvilin. V'hoya meitzach aroin, v'nos ha'aren is avoin ha'kadoshim, and this is going to be mechaper, the, the avoin in kachim. Asher yakdishu b'nei Yisrael, I had to skip, it's a very long Pasuk. V'hoya al mitzchoy tomid l'ratzon. This is going to be on his forehead for always, for forgiveness, says the Gemara. What are we talking about? From the process of elimination, we're going to prove something here. There's only a few averis that it could possibly come to be mechaper. Im avoyim pigol. So, pigol. It's 101 in kachim. Pigol means that a person, well, it's a little confusing because the Torah calls pigol one thing and the Gemara calls pigol another thing. And we're going now with the Gemara. Not what... The, with the Torah, sorry. We're going with the Torah, not what the Gemara says. Pigol in the Torah means that a Kayan, as he's performing one of the Malachas, one of the Avaidas, he thinks to himself he's going to perform the Avaidah outside the allotted place, not time. The Gemara always calls it time. The Gemara now is talking about place. So in other words, he thinks to himself, I am going to do Zrikas Adam in my house in, uh, in Harnov, not in the Beis Hamikdash. Once he thinks that, that's an Aveira, it's puzzle. Okay. Next, it cannot be that. It can't be that the tzitz, by the fact that the Kohen Gadol wears it, he's mechaper on that Aveira and it's a good carbon. Harik Farnam, Arlo Yeratza. There's no, nothing you can do. The carbon is gone. Vim Avoy Noisar, a little tricky, but we had this sugi a few times. Noisar always means, not here, always in other places, means you left over the carbon after it's a lot of time. So you let it eat the carbon, let's say, for two days. On the third day, it's also for you to eat. It's noisa. Over here, we're talking about machshava of noisa. Why? It cannot be that this carbon was left over because once you shech the carbon, it's 100% good. What happens in three days from now, that's a, a in three days from now. You can't go retroactively and say, oh, since you left it for three days, it's not a good carbon. For that, you don't need a tzitz. The tzitz is a perfect carbon. There's a kapara, everything. It must be that im avoy noisa means what the Gemara always calls pigol, meaning that as the Kayan was performing, Zriko, he thought, I'm going to eat it outside the allotted time. Since I'm allowed to eat it for two days, I'm going to eat it in three days. That's in his mind as he's performing one of the Havaydas. Not that it physically happened. He thought about it. That also can't be that that's what the tzitz comes to be. It's not a good carbon. And now we turn to the Zion. During... Interesting. I wonder if that's Dafka. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. I don't know why that would be like that. Okay. Dav Zainam with Bayes. Sponsored by Yaakov Badner and Steven Sokolo. For Schus Shidduch for Dina Tamar, Bas Esther Rivka. And another person. For his daughter Shidduch, Saralino Bas Godalea. And another person. What about the mishpacha? What about the camaraderie? What about the chesed? Feeling of... Ah. Oh. So we eliminated two. It cannot be that the tzitz comes for noisar, for a machshav of pigol, for lachazman. It can't be that it comes for machshav of eating it out of its place. So what is it coming for? And look at this word. Shehutra. 
that's it. If we stop right here, this is a bomb raya. That tuma hutra miklala betzibur. Okay? It says l'chayra that it's hutra. V'kashri the Rav Sheshis. Rav Sheshis says that tuma duchui betzibur. The Lashon is mefurish over here that it's a hutra betzibur. Says the Gemara, Rav Sheshis is going to rely on someone else. You're right. This b'risa is a bomb raya. But Tanoi, at the end of the day, he has a Tana to be so Machan, the Sanya. Sits. Bain Shiyeshnoi al Mitzchoi. Bain Shiyeshnoi al Mitzchoi. Miratza de Rib Shimon. Rib Shimon by Yechoi holds that the Tzitz doesn't have to be on the Kain Gadol's head. It could be hanging in a closet. It also gives a Ritzui. Rib Yudoi Mer Oidei al Mitzchoi Miratza. No. Only if it's on the Kain Gadol's forehead. Ein Oidei al Mitzchoi. Ein Miratza. Amal Rib Shimon. From here we have a right. Because Rib Shimon proves them. Kain Gadol be Yamakipur Miachiach. Look at the Kain Gadol. She'ein Oidei al Mitzchoi Miratza. When the Kain Gadol, where is that? Where is Yeshua? When the Kain Gadol goes into Kaidish HaKadoshim, you have that thing, it's too late to, to put it up. The big, big thing, it's too late. When the Kain Gadol goes into the Kaidish HaKadoshim to perform the Avaidah, he's no longer wearing all his beautiful clothing. He looks more like a Kain Hedyot. He's not wearing these clothing. He, all he's wearing is pure white. Even his Gartel, his Avnate, is white. White. That's why you go into those I once had this chus, I think I mentioned it. I was in the old city for Rosh Hashanah, I think it was. I was looking like around and we went into a shul over there and everybody was white from head to toe with strimals, white strimals. You've never seen anything like it. The entire place, white strimals, white kapotas, white, I, I think shoes, that I don't remember. White strimals. The room Kubalim or something. Rabbi Schoenberg knows what I'm talking about. White strimals. Maybe because of this, I'm just saying. They're all white. I ain't an art scroll for that, my son. Chee! Okay. Rav Shimon Gai Kalal B'yam Gimel Yechiyach. Sheinu Dei Al Mitzchom Ratzah. Oh. But now the Kohen Gadol is going in and performing all these different avoidahs. What about the, what if he becomes Tameh? What if he's Tameh and he's Metama the carbon over there? How does that carbon potentially have a way out if he's not wearing the tzitz? The raya is, even though he's not wearing the tzitz, the tzitz is hanging up in the closet, it gives him a heter, it gives him, it's miratza, it gives kapara. Don't bring any raya from the kohen gadol yom kippur. Why? There's another reason that if he becomes tommy over there and he is metame the carbon, because over there it's hutra, it's a tzibur carbon. A tzibur carbon has a heter. Miklal, the Rib Shimon saw about Tumad Chuyev a tzibur. Oh. Rib Shimon knew about this, that it's a tzibur. Yet Rib Shimon is proving it from Kaidah Shekadashim. And he says, you need the tzitz to be Miratza. Why does Rib Shimon say you need the tzitz to be Miratza? At the end of the day, you have Tumad Chutra a tzibur. Why would Rib Shimon say you need this? It, on the far fetched case, that the Kayin Gadol is inside the Kaidah Shekadashim. And he's metama the carbon. He says, you need, you need this. You don't need this. It's a carbon for all of Klai Yisrael. We're all depending on this Kain Gadol and Kadesh And when there's, and what? No, we're going in Rib Shimon now. This is Rib Shimon. I know it's Rib Shimon, but it's Rib Shimon. Rib Shimon, who argues in Rib Yehuda, he has to hold also of this idea that Tumah Hudra B'Tzibur. So if Chas Shalom, the Kain Gadol, becomes Tami in the Kadesh HaKadoshim, and he taught, it's fine. It's Hudra B'tzibur. From the fact that he says, no, you need a tzitz, you see that it's not Hudra B'tzibur. It's the Chuya B'tzibur. It's, it's b- b- less Breira. And it's, you need to come onto this tzitz to make a complete Tapare Yom Kippur. Now, at the end of the day, you should just know that we Paskin like this Rib Shimon. Toma, Chuya B'tzibur. The Allah is always like Rib Sheshis. Now going back to Rib Sheshis. The Allah is like Rib Sheshis over of Nachman. There's a Rabbim here. And they also on Shabbos, I believe, they also pass in Shabbos Duchuya Betzibur, not Hutra Bepikuach uh, Nevesh. Shabbos Duchuya Bepikuach Nevesh, not Hutra Bepikuach Nevesh. Okay. Omer Abay. Benish Barat Tzitz Dekul Amal Loi Pligid Elei Miratzo. If the Tzitz is broken, everybody agrees that there's no Kapara. Keep Ligi. The Tali Besikta, when it's hanging on a peg. I saw a mention that maybe there's a Shaila of Kolaroyu Lebi Lo, since he could put it back on his head, so it's not, you don't have to have it on your head. But if it's broken in half, there's no, 
It's not Roy Labila. He can't put it on his head. It's broken. Rabbi the Savar, Al Meitzach Vinasa. Oh, so here's the Pasuk. It says in the Pasuk, Vahaya Al Meitzach. If it's on his forehead, then in red, Vinasa Aaron is oven. Then there's a kapara. It says before in the Pasuk, Al Meitzach. It has to be on his forehead. Rabbi Shimon Savar, Hamid Lerotzel Lifnei Hashem. Zilla say for the crow, whatever the Lashon of the Gemara is. If you can't stop over here, let's keep on reading. Very long pasuk. Da 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 da. V'hoya al mitzchoy tamid leratzen. It's always. So he ignores this thing right over here. Tamid leratzen. It's always leratzen. Tamid leratzen. V'nei Hashem. My tamid. Ilay me tamid al mitzchoy. And he proves it. You cannot read it mitzchoy tamid. It's on his forehead always because the man has to go to the bathroom. So it can't be. So Mamela the Tamid goes this way, not this way. Tamid the Rotten, it's always going to be a kapara, even if it's hanging in a closet. My Tamid. By the way, just so you should know, it's a bigger chiddush that we are getting to the end of this Ahmad at 8 o'clock than when we have a 14,000 word daft that we get at 8 o'clock. It's a much harder job to get to here at 8 o'clock. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> for the agreement, and hence the constant jabbing of the arse. I'm just telling you that's why I kept on going back to that. It's time to burn another minute or two in between. <laughs> it really didn't bother me at all. I was actually excited when I saw it. I asked for it. I said, "Could somebody send hate mails to somebody?" Send it. it could be some yeshiva guy, you know, some chaver man that actually watches the show, loves the show. Just say, "You want an email? I'll give you an email." It doesn't have to go to the bathroom. sleep. The word Tamid goes this way to the word Ratzon. But it says Tamid, what do you do? It's going to give a, a, a Ritzu forever, even if it's not on him. The coin, even when the tzitz is hanging in the closet, it's in, on a shelf somewhere, the coin cannot forget about it. He can't have hesachadas from it. You must constantly feel your tefillin. In other words, you can't forget about the Shem Hashem that's going on over there. By the way, tefillin, you should really, you should really, Thank you. You should really wear your tefillin all day long, l'chatchila, l'halacha, but we can't because we have problems with hesach hadas. That's the, that's the reason we don't wear it. People in the, in the old city, the Zilbermans, they wear it all day because they're learning tire and they they fit, they, they, they the, the gronics and they wear it all day. We want to come to a situation where we could wear it all day. Kavachayim mitzit. Davches omedalev. Umatzit sheim boyel askor achas. Omer toyer al mitzkoy tamid. This tzit. Only has one mention of Akash Baruch Hu. And it says, The word Tamid we just explained means that you shouldn't ever forget about it. You should constantly think about it. Certainly Tfilin. That has Hashem's name many times. You certainly shouldn't be Mesiyah Das. Now let me ask you a question. What is the difference? Think about a logical difference. What is the difference between this picture right over here and your Tfilin? To answer this question of Hesach Das. Very good, very good. Over here, you see Hashem's name, and it's Yudke Vavke, it's Begoloi. So maybe that's why. That's Tyson's question. What? Everybody sees it, not you, everybody. But it's a. But Tyson says, Tyson says at the end of the day, Hesach Hadas, that's. What? What part? I don't get it. Oh. <laughs> this tale is very good. All right, Raboy I have a wonderful day. <laughs>
Um, Noam, Noam. Did Noam leave already? Besides Toysis Teretz, you can look in Toysis Teretz, but besides that, there's a very nice Teretz that Hesach Adas, Goli and Seser has nothing to do with Hesach Adas. Goli and Seser, could I go?